uh, perhaps uh, perhaps even have this tournament with uh, lower technology rackets and uh, even Tiger Woods uh, maybe commenting that he wouldn't be opposed to hitting a persimmon wood uh, every now and again. Yeah, it's good getting people out there in, in the other aspects of the sporting world to talk about what's going on uh, in the bowling world for a change. And, and as I mentioned last week, you know, I'd love to see a, a tennis tournament with all wood rackets or, or all wood clubs for, for the golfers. And, and I think they would prove the same thing that we proved last week, and that is that the equipment just doesn't really matter at the professional level. I mean, the best bowlers are the best bowlers. And whether on the golf tour, if you give everybody wooden clubs, Tiger Woods is still going to be the yeah. leader of the tournament yeah. at the end of the week. It's, he's, the best, he's the best golfer. He's not the best golfer because he has a, a titanium driver that he can hit at 350. Uh, he's the best golfer because he's the best golfer, which is obviously true for, for bowling. And is it great to see hometown George Branham III made an impact on the National PBA Tour as a touring pro in the 80s and 90s, and it's just uh, great to see him competing here this week. Interesting that one amateur in this tournament made the cut in that quote-unquote amateur was George Branham III. So yeah, even that, though he's some amateur, that's unfair. Yeah. <laughs> even though he is classified as an amateur, he is certainly uh, no amateur on the lanes. And our first look at Brent Angelo, PBA titleist. Corey, what would you think about? Other than just a plastic ball, what about a a standard ball where everyone had the same equipment? Might not have to go as far rolling it back as plastic, but what about similar technology where everyone had the same same basic RG ball and same dynamic bowling ball where it also would highlight the skill level? I think you would see exactly the same results, whether it's plastic, urethane, reactive, or even if you go up as far as particle. If you give everybody the same bowling ball out here on tour, uh, the results are basically going to be the same um, on a week-to-week -week basis. And that is the bowlers that bowl the best are going to be there at the end of the week. Um, the technology is not helping the bowlers get to the show. I mean, it might help with scoring pace. It might, you know, might make a different kind of ball reaction. Uh, but the bowlers are going to figure it out, uh, whatever it is you put in their hands. So you give them a beach ball, and they're going to figure out how to strike with it. So I think a, uh, a standard ball um, would definitely bring out the, the skill level, and it would definitely show who the best bowlers are. But in my opinion, uh, that bowling ball, uh, it really doesn't matter what, it, what that bowling ball would be. I mean, it's, it's really irrelevant in my opinion. It's still going to come down to the best. The cream rises to the top. Right, exactly. So, I mean, if you give them all a reactive ball, the bowler that bowls the best is going to get there. If you give them all plastic, the bowler that bowls the best is going to get there. And just what you would see as a, as a fan or a spectator is you would just see um, different ball reactions probably. Oh, we just saw Danny Wiseman strike. He's got four out of five, 68 and a third, double up. Now Ryan Simonelli, he's got the front four. Coming up high there. Kicks the bucket around. There's no more mail for you, Corey? I don't know. What do we have over there, Mike? Oh, we... Trying to get through some mail here. Actually, I think there's so many people getting in, it's just uh, slowing down the chain a little bit. <laughs> Actually, we do have something uh, from Chris Martin from Alabama. He was wondering how somebody uh, uh, could apply for a crew job, Jeff Mark. We've got a enterprising uh, young man out there that's looking for some work. Uh, what would you suggest? Anyone who, who is interested in a job in any manner with the Professional Bowlers Association needs to send a resume into Kirk Von Kruger at the Seattle office. If you don't have a resume on file, you will not get a job. 
And that's pretty much how it works. We uh, hire by resume through the Seattle office. And how did you get hooked up with the PBA Tour? Oh, wow. That's a long story. I used to be a sponsor for a few bowlers, and I was on the national tour way back when. And then I worked for the Hammer Company out of Baltimore before they were bought by Ebonite. Then uh, when they went out of business, the PBA hired me to work player services, which is drilling on the truck. I did that for four years. And uh, then they offered me the current job I have now, which is production coordinator, uh, which is, uh, and uh, get to do extra frame, among other things. So it's all the uh, travel, the uh, truck movements, the set. I do all the pre-checks with electric and power and uh, what room gets used for what thing and coordinating with the proprietor as to uh, when things happen and when we need to have crew. I do all the... Uh, contracts of local companies and local labor that we hire we do hire local labor but that's a week to week they don't travel with us uh, probably hire anywhere between uh, eh, probably about 15 to 20 people uh, on the weekends uh, to work in the TV set with the lighting and the set crew and the bleach crew so, but uh, yep anyone that is interested in a job uh, has to have a resume on file Corey, here's a question for you from Mark Million. The tour made a stop at Chippewa Lanes in South Bend in the 80s. Any chances you're headed back that way? Well, we probably won't be bringing a tour stop back there, but um, that's in Indiana, so we could possibly have a regional there in uh, either the central region or even the uh, Midwest region. And uh, I would suggest you give either one of those regional managers a call and let's bring a tour stop or a regional tour stop to South Bend. And uh, in the Midwest, you would want to contact John Weber. Uh, his contact information is available at pba.com. And in the central region, you would contact Bobby Jekyll. Um Either one of those gentlemen would be willing to help out with bringing at least a PBA regional to that area. Nice to see both those guys here this week, too. Yes. <laughs> Eugene McHugh waving to the crowd. He <laughs> must have struck when not expecting it. He's uh, looking for his first double this game after seven frames. Corey, here's another question from Ron Vandevanter. Is the PBA going to do the same kind of tournaments next year? As a fan, he's loved the different tournaments uh, in terms of format, I'm guessing. Uh, what's on tap uh, for next year? Well, um, the the tour schedule and season is not definite for next year, but um, I would definitely say that you're going to see a lot of uh, different variety and flavor, uh, as you did this year on next year's tour, along with um, something very special coming up in the not-so-distant future. Uh, that will be announced very, very soon. I think within the next day or so that yeah. announcement's going to be made. But Definitely stay tuned to PBA.com over the next uh, the cannot week. Cannot talk about it yet. But uh, keep your eyes posted to PBA.com. You'll be finding out all about the information coming up. There is something big coming, and it's uh, going to be very interesting. Can't wait to talk about it. So the answer to the question, actually, is, is yes. You will be seeing um, uh, very similar things to what we did this year coming up in, in next year's uh, season. Uh, but more and bigger and, and we've uh, got one more, more stop on the extreme swing uh, after this uh, marathon open we've got one more extreme event uh, the eliminator tournament coming up next week in columbus another uh, unique format it's going to be uh, very interesting it's um it's definitely going to be interesting for for the spectators on site um with how that format's going to work and um it kind of puts a new twist on uh, match play it's not uh, it's not head to head, but it is head to head, kind of all at the same time. We'll have an interesting uh, team.